Hi, my name's Matt. I've been here at Transform Plastics for 20 years. We primarily do dermoforming, DAC forming, twin skin forming. We do trimming, CNC trimming and robot trimming. We make a lot of varying products, mostly for the industrial sector, a lot of portable toilets. Uh, we make a lot of floor mats for cars. A lot of things that people don't generally see out in the open as well. We have a vast variety of machines here main one bank thermoformers. We also have laser cutters, CNCs and robots. A lot of our parts come with flashing excess material around the outside of the part and we use a robot to trim off any excess and clean up the edges. We were looking for another CNC when we came across 5.0 Robotics, mainly because we needed something that wasn't as expensive as a five axis CNC, something that was middle ground, something that can do the job reliably, quickly and accurately without the price tag of a five axis machine, which we already have. I was pretty impressed when I first saw the machine. It's pretty rigid, it's solid. I can't really fault it in any way, to be honest. Um, I was mainly looking for something with a tool changer, as there's a lot of times where I'm not actually at the machine and um, I can't sit there and manually change tools over. Well, we've been using this model for about six months, I believe, and um, it's, pretty much getting daily use um, at this stage. Whenever I'm making a trimming fixture, I'm doing a lot of roughing, a lot of finishing, and it can take up to 20 hours at a time. So um, that tool changer really does come in handy. <laughs> My favorite aspect about the machine actually is the dust extraction. We used to have an open frame CNC here before, and uh, there was no means of getting the dust out, and it would go everywhere, especially with MDF. Uh, you know, it's carcinogenic, you don't really want to be breathing that in, and it's great just to have an option. Uh, a dust shoe that comes down automatically and sucks everything up. I set up a, a custom fixture that uh, sits on the table there just to secure my work pieces down. I found um, that with a lot of my molds, I'm actually holding it and bolting it from underneath of the mold because I can't have anything on the top surface. Um, so I've just created my own waste board in a sense that secures everything down to the T-slot table and uh, the components themselves. Yeah, this comes with a vacuum table, which I use all the time for a lot of my flat pack plywood. Yeah, it's a godsend. Uh, no need for screws. I can just suck and go. <laughs> Love the software that comes with this. I have used 5-axis for the past 15 years. Some of the software that comes pre-installed or that you're forced to use um, is really outdated and cumbersome and is not really intuitive at all. It really did blow me away, the fact that I get a 3D live view wireframe of everything that's being cut and the tool parts. All the information is right there on one screen that, I'm, that I need, so I'm really impressed. It's not bigger than it needs to be. I, I can tell that great thought's been put into the design of it. I can put this in the corner and uh, it's not gonna be in my way. But I think this machine's got plenty of power and oomph to it. Um, I don't think I've really even scratched the surface of what it can actually do. I'm mainly doing MDF and wood on this thing, but I would like to move into more professional pattern making so that we can then do cast aluminium tools for our company, uh, which would then mean that we can do everything in-house. At this stage, I've got high hopes. Um, it hasn't really failed at anything I've thrown at it so far. Thanks to the 5.0 Robotics CNC, we've been able to double our production in the past six months. So thanks guys.